morning everybody how you all doing on this lovely sunny really sunny um friday morning ah it's a day off lovely i was off yesterday um a friend was around we went shopping went to aldi and little introduced them to the center aisles and he ended up buying loads of things for his car <laughs> to work on his car uh, which was quite funny. I was just throwing things in his in his hands. Going, yeah, kneeling pads, uh, trickle chargers for your batteries. No, <laughs> hex keys. There you go. <laughs> you end up spending loads of money, but it was quite funny. He wants to know when the next bargains are on. Uh, yeah, so I had a good day. Um, this is day two of my days off, and I'm just catching up on stuff, doing the washing and stuff like that, doing the housework, tidying up. Uh, I've just been out and done, spoke to a lady who's cleaning the path across there, uh, whose mother lives there. Um, she's lived there all the time. We've lived here. We've been here well, <laughs> nearly 30 years. Uh, oh, hello, Costa. Hello. Yeah, go on. Get out of the way. There you go. Um, yeah, because the, the wind's damaging the... The fence has come away on one corner so, and plus there's a big bush behind it so when the wind blows it's pushing the fence and they weren't actually aware of it so uh, i was speaking to her I was telling her what she was like hey, we just had the fence replaced last year or more posts put in to make it secure so the i didn't even know that had come away no idea it's just because with it with it being um the lady being elderly the last thing i want is for the fence to come down then kids have got access to the back garden and things like that you know it's uh so, just so I can get it repaired and keep it secured. So I've done my good deed for the day. Yes. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm without a car today. Uh, I've had to drop the car off at the garage. For s it's got some sort of leak underneath. And looking, uh, my friend had it up on, on a jack yesterday. And looking at it, it looks like it may be the sump plug underneath might be leaking. Hopefully it is, because that's not too big a job. And it's not something like a new few, a new oil tank needed. Um, so I've got it in the garage today, dropped it off first thing. I'm just waiting to hear back from them, which, knowing what they like, will probably be like late on this afternoon. Like, close at four o'clock or half four, I'll, I'll be ringing up at four going, but what's happening, you know? Because <laughs> I've got to walk back around. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed. Well, anything with cars isn't cheap, like repair-wise. So fingers crossed, it's it's the cheaper of the options, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. So there's that. Um, <laughs> Got to tell you about this. Georgia's flat. Apart from the, the numerous problems she has with the boiler and the landlord will not replace the boiler, they quite happily put up with all the charges that uh, come with the gas, gas people coming out and replacing parts. We'd rather do that than get a new boiler. And the boiler's quite old. Uh, but apart from that, Georgia's, we've got a phone call like half 11 the other night. I thought, well, what's wrong? With you know, the toilet won't flush and you could hear a light trying to do. Got one with a button on the top, you know. Um, toilet won't flush so we're, we're told her how to like pour water down to flush it away and away which she didn't know which was quite pleased at least she can go at the toilet now but yes they moan she rang the the letting agency who like manage the property as the, the for the landlord they went right you know no other toilet yeah da, 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 da. we'll put it down as priority we'll get somebody out today great okay came say like half three or whatever georgia rang up so what what's happening any update and they went nothing's been put through on the system um I said, you've got to put it through and she says well can you put it through please i've got no toilet you know i'm at work for the next six days or something i need i need a working toilet right uh, well you need to put it through on the portal uh, well i'm telling you she says no it's best if it goes through on the portal so she, Georgia hates using the portal for some reason, but she put it through, which came up as a priority on there. And they said it's also best if we ring the, the, the letting agency to tell them. So she did it again. 
rang them up, told them, right, it's through, right, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get somebody out when, like, when someone's free. But we need to get permission from the landlord to do any repairs on the toilet. Yeah, seriously? A toilet? That's a God-given right. Do you need a toilet? What permission do you need from the landlord? You've got to have a working toilet. Uh, it's we've, we've had arguments with them in the past because the Georgia stairs are quite steep. They're like that, you know, and they're not very deep treads on them. Um, apparently, and I don't know the rules around this, apparently more than four stairs you've got to have a banister. Uh, now, Georgia's grandmother hasn't been to see the flat because she'll never manage the stairs. Georgia's lived there like a year and a half now and she's still never seen the flat. Um, and the the, man, the the landlord's refused to put one in. He's saying, well, if you want one in, put one in yourself, you know, at your cost. <laughs> Great. Uh, I've I've read that like the only only time you can like there has to be a bonus that is if the person living there has got a disability but I don't know if there's any rules and if there's more than four stairs has got to have a bonus that rule is true or what I don't know what what the laws are so but the the letting agency aren't sort of doing the landlord says no so yeah uh, they're about as much use as a chocolate fire guard you know as they so, all they do is come round and like every, every six months or so do an inspection. That's pretty much it, you know. Uh, probably get paid a lot of money for it as well. But anyway, so yeah, so George is currently without a toilet for what's now going to be like two days. Um, and I don't have a car, so I can't go down there for a plumber. So it'll roll into tomorrow or what? Well, the weekend. So. <laughs> God knows when uh, the plumber will be able to get there. It's absolutely ridiculous. <sighs> so give us your thoughts on any, any anything with any problems you've had with landlords in the past and things, especially in the UK where I don't know whether just won't do stuff or they're not doing what they should be doing. I said to George, I said, if it wasn't for the really good location you're at where it's convenient for the shops, for the trains for to work convenient for like to get to and from hours we can get there quite quick if you need us uh, or anything like that obviously if we don't renew in the next contract and find somewhere else but god we had a heck of a georgia had a heck of a job finding somewhere in the first place you know uh so we're lucky to get this one <sighs> but hey ho hey ho um yeah, so the, so there's that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. That's it at the moment. I just wish the sunshine would stay out for more than sort of half a day, so the grass could dry, because it keeps sort of raining. I mean, we might get a half a day of sunshine, then it'll cloud over, and it'll not not really any warmth in it. Then we'll have a day of rain. Um, I want to get the garden done. We want to get things done in the garden because it's soaking wet. Yeah, I've got plans for it. i paint the fence and everything. I've got, like I showed in that other video, I've got a new a new palette to put up. That needs to be painted. It's different things I want to do in the garden. Denise has got, I think, plans for it. Uh, get decorating in here. Uh, want to get one of the walls decorated here. I wish we'd get the bedroom decorated. I could do with the decorating that. Uh, yeah, that, that's about it. There's not much, not much else going on, really. It's uh, that's pretty much everything caught up, you know. <laughs> hey, do 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 do. No, no. Uh, it's nice walking about with me stocking feet today because. Wearing boots at work, the new boots we've got, I've got a heck of a blister on the back of my heel and it's really sore and it's, it's big, it's like that, you know. So I'm having to put, to go to work, I'm having to put like a plaster over it to try and pad it. And it's absolutely flipping agony when I'm walking along, so I'm walking along with like a limp and everything. <laughs> well, the last day I put my old boots on, uh, which were still sore but not as bad, just to try and give my heel a chance to... <laughs> to heal, you know, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, 
I think I'll just get them get, get some um, polishing that they done, get some dusting and all that sort of thing, and maybe screw up. Uh, no, I've still got a big wet and dry Hoover thing in the in the garage. I need to unpack. So I don't know whether whether to test that or whatever because I want to do a review on that. So it's just getting the time to do it. Oh, uh, lordy dordy. So yeah. Anyway, I'll get going for the moment. Uh, I guess it might be because I'm starting to feel a bit peckish. Well, I've heard back from the garage. Not good news. Um, it wasn't the sump plug like I thought. Apparently there's a leak on the uh, engine casing at the side where the timing belt is. Uh, which means they can't do it for some reason. Maybe it's too big a job for them. Um, they're waiting to hear back from somebody who can do it to get a cost and how long it's going to take. Which... That sounds like it might be a couple of days job. Um, which, given my days off, I might have to schedule in and put up with like oil leaks all over the place. And uh, Yeah, sounds like it's going to be expensive. <laughs> uh, not a straightforward. Time of day. Time of day. Get the dishes done before the boss gets home. <laughs> yes. Uh, I had to have a nap before. I was, uh, I don't know, I just absolutely shattered all of a sudden. I had to have a bit of a snooze, which turned out to be so like. About an hour and a half snooze. It was nice so Set my timer. Put my headphones in. And listen to some music. And for some reason, I, at the moment, I like to listen to music while I'm going to sleep. You know, the, not on speakers, but like, well, I could, but I'd disturb anybody else. But put, put, my, put my headphones in and uh, go to sleep just put the music on low go to sleep listening to whatever i fancy the 80s stuff you know not that i hear much it's just a just a bit of background noise that's you know nice to listen to instead of snoring <laughs> uh but i think i definitely snore actually no mind heard myself, but I think I actually felt myself snow at one point. That's probably why Molly disappeared. <laughs> I probably scared her off with me snoring. Uh. <laughs> but it was nice. I feel a bit more refreshed after that sleep. So that's good. I really need to get a new mug. This one's got a big chip out of it, but it's just a nice size and, you know. Decent, decent mug. It's lasted a while. Uh, I need to get myself weird. And I don't know why I keep putting it off, but I want to find out whether I put weight on, lost weight or whatever since starting this job. Um, I wouldn't say it's an unhealthy diet, but certainly not healthy. But I do a lot more walking and stuff like that, so it honestly how I'm doing. I definitely burned off a lot more calories than what I used to do. Hey. Like I say there wasn't many dishes, so that didn't take long. Let's go and have a peek, see what's in the garden. Yeah, I just wanna I feel like I'm losing weight. I feel like we that stuff needs to go in the shed. Yeah, I feel like my waist band's gone down a little bit, so. Well, these jeans I've got on, got not long before, she started the new job. I already feel baggy. A little bit of a breeze, but that's nice. 
Yes. Definitely needs work out here. Mm. Hello. The, the blackbirds are back, which live in the tree in the corner. They're, they're back this year, or that family. Do blackbirds not keep the same nest? I can't remember. Like, do they come back to the same nest? I'm sure they do. Might be wrong. But if anybody knows, stick it below. Uh, but they're back. I've seen the blackbirds around. I'm not sure if the neighbours know. Um, I'm not sure if the neighbours know about them or whether the landlord's advised about them because <laughs> the the landlord when he lived there and peter who just moved out not long ago used to look after the birds used to feed the birds and peter refused to cut that corner tree until the nesting season had finished because blackbirds have a few they they'll have chicks they'll do the, then they'll have some more then they'll, they'll maybe just have a few broods, you know, and he didn't want to cut the tree until it had all finished. So he's a big softy when it comes to nature. <laughs> so I don't know if the new neighbours have been advised about that. But, um, yeah, just wait for Denise getting home. She finished nearly a quarter of an hour ago. So hopefully I'll be home soon. Be nice to see her. She'll be off for the weekend. Uh, shopping tomorrow. She said, she, she said to us the other day, she goes, uh, do you want to go down to Whitley Bay? You know, because uh, I've not been down for a while, we'd put flowers down for your mother, whatever. Because I never got, I don't think we got down on Mother's Day, so I can take some flowers down for me, for me mother, for me mum. That'll be nice. So yeah, might get some, some footage from Whitley Bay. <sighs> trying to think what else is. Hello, Costa. I don't seem to be mooching. Molly's got this thing. <laughs> Anybody else has got cats? Do they do this? They'll sit there wanting their food. They'll stare at you. You know. Uh, and the moment you go to get the pouches, she decides to eat what's already there. You know, what's already in the bowl. Then she'll disappear outside. Okay. But don't look at me for food if you've already got food and you're, you're still eating it. She does it all the time. It's weird. The cost I'll sit there and like wait for the food and eat that. So pretty much when the fresh food comes out, Costa gets the first uh, first dibs at it. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. Let's see if it's dry and it's all dry now. So hopefully it will be. The dry and all dry. The washing's all dry, I should say. Yeah, the stuff that's drying is dry. That's what I meant to say. Oh, stuff that was drawing. But, right, you know, I'll get going for the moment. And oh, it's actually a nice night. I don't know if Denise wants to go for a walk tonight. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what she says. Well, I suppose I'd better get that um, question of the day in here. Uh, I nearly forgot about it, actually. <laughs> I was checking out my last video. And now you forgot the question of the day, which is, what is the favourite place that you have travelled to? And also, why is it your favourite? Don't forget, stick your comments below. Um, stick, stick your answers below. Let us know. Uh, it'd be great to, to hear your, all your answers. Maybe to have a discussion about them. I think mine has to be Lanzarote. Maybe it's not the most extravagant of places. I suppose it doesn't have to be. It's what it brings to me. Um, you know, there's posher places out there. Um, but Lanzarote, for me, just holds a place in my heart. It does. Yeah, left. <laughs> holds, holds a place in my heart. Uh, it's just so laid back. It's so, I don't know, I was going to say flat, but some of it's not as volcanic. Um, the roads are lovely to drive on, everything. The people, all the people we've met there being lovely. Although a lot of them touristy, 
granted, yeah. But the place is just so laid back and chilled. It's just it's just a nice place to go. We're back. Yeah, it's Denise. Hello. You should look nice with a nice new uh, <laughs> I was going to say new hair, but it's the same hair. <laughs> so it uh, thinned out and shortened and everything. Yes. Yeah. You do look a day over 60 now, darling. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks nice. Looks a lot thin, thinner than what it did. Yeah, you could a lot off. Yeah. So we're just away down to pick Georgia up. She's uh, Mr. Bus and Metro, so she said, Can you pick us up? So. Just the way down to, to do that. It's just an excuse to go to B&M. Yeah, it's an excuse just to go to B&M. <laughs> Have a mooch. See what we can see to buy. Uh, well, is this something you want to buy? Or you want to look at the wallpapers? I've never seen anything in there that I like. We, um, Denise had an idea for the living room. For the feature wall. Can you describe what they are? You're not talking about the ones, the square ones, are you? Where it looks like no. they're big. Yeah, I've seen them. Load. No, they look like slats of wood. The, the, yeah, they look like planks of wood. You yeah. would have on like a pallet. Yeah. Um, well, I can send you the picture. You can put the, you can send oh, yeah. the picture. Yeah, yeah. And um, I thought, oh, it might look quite nice because I've got a little bit of wood in the living room anyway, not much, but yeah. I'm, I really don't like the wallpaper anymore on that wall and I can't see anything that I really like. So <clears throat> this was my idea. But you've got we measured this morning, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah we measured up this morning. <laughs> and then when I worked out how much it will be, it would be four hundred pounds for mm. a wall. Four hundred pounds just for the wallpaper. Just for one it's, little wall. It's not even a big room. <laughs> it's not wallpaper as such, but it's a like, well, panels or whatever they are. Yeah. And then I, I was thinking, well, I thought about that acoustic wall. The that, acoustic wall thing, yeah, what I you mentioned. Can buy. Yeah. But then when I, you told us what it was made of, and I was just like, well, why pay ninety quid a sheet of that? Yeah. Yeah. And I would still it looks absolutely rubbish as well, the stuff. We would still need about eight or nine panels, so that would be even more money. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, I'll send Steve the photo so we can show you what I was thinking. Yeah. But it did look nice. I, I really like the look of it, but 400 quid for I'm not a small to wall. I'm not to do that for no. a, a wall. It's absolutely ridiculous. When you can get wallpaper. I said we'll just chop up some pallets and sand the, pan <laughs> the plank um, planks down and, you know. So the so they're nice and dressed. Hello. Right, so, do I turn left or right? I don't know. There she is. Well. There we go. Oh, I found her. Well, the rain started eventually. The rain I was ex expecting earlier. It's eventually started. <laughs> Well, we went to B and M. Somebody uh, sort of overspent a bit. You cannot pay me. <laughs> she went mad on paint. Yeah. <laughs> Some paint for the um, the back fence. Hopefully, it's as good as what what this guy was saying. He said he's a painter decorator. Um, he was saying he's used it before because he ran out of the stuff he was going to use so he used this other stuff from Spear and Jackson and uh, it's, it's brilliant it's only £10 for like a, a 9 litre tub um, rather than £20 odd pound for oh, the other stuff yeah. yeah so we we got we got two two so the cheap, still cheaper than what it would have been to get one oh. tub or the other so yeah, we'll see what it's like when Denise paints it on the fence. 
<laughs> I enjoy it. Mind you, the last time it was done was lockdown, um, lockdown and I had George at the help is. It was blazing hot. She, it was blazing hot. You were you were working. Mm -hmm. So we just got stuck in and I had a lovely garden then but it's not looking so good at the minute. Yeah, I was they done all the work when I was because they couldn't go to work but I had to. I still had to go to work so they done it all when I was at work and they had it looking lovely. Uh, but we bought, bought um, a flower holder for uh, for one of the graves at the uh, Willie Bay Cemetery because it's been oh, damaged it's by smashed. yeah by the they get damaged by the grass cutter so bought a new one. And bits and bobs. Uh, well, what happened was when the men over the road for my Georgia lives and she decided she needed to go home and come up to the toilet and I said, right, okay. I says, you'll go over her. She says, put me stuff in your basket. I went, right, okay, it's all right, I'll get it for you. Yeah. 70 pound later. <laughs> Be claiming it back. <laughs> we send a bill, Georgia. This is how much it owe. <laughs> oh, somebody! Oh, what? Somebody's broke down just off the roundabout here. Yeah, so we're going to get home. We're having chili con carne for tea tonight. Um, I think we're watching the match. I didn't know there was a match on tonight, but Denise was telling us uh, England v Brazil. So we'll probably be watching that. Uh, I don't normally watch the England matches. Uh, they're not as good as club football I find. It, so. Unless it's the World Cup, that's a bit different. But um, we'll all watch this. England v Brazil should hopefully be decent. to Willie Bay tomorrow. Uh, just in case I don't vlog tomorrow, I'll just say, say goodbye now. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> yeah, take care of yourselves and speak to you very soon.